Well, while I'm on standby in the middle of the show in this shed, let's take a look at some of the equipment we have in just one of the power distribution points of the show. And the first thing that happens is power comes in externally using uh, 400 amp uh, power lock connectors and it goes to the bottom piece of distribution equipment down here and that splits it. Uh, depending on how many other supplies we're putting around to other parts of the building, it goes through various other pieces of distribution equipment like this and in this case we've also got a laser module here which is feeding all the lasers around this area of the esplanade. And uh, from that uh, lower piece of equipment it then bounces out to our hard power rack and our dimmed power rack. Now the hard power rack is a wall of RCDs, GFIs, and each of them protects one circuit. They're bunched together in groups of six with a, power, uh, with a Socapex connector going in the back of the panel, and that then feeds different sections of the event. The dimmer rack is also feeding socket packs, but interestingly it's got a patch bay on top whereby any channel out of the dimmer can be patched to any one of those output sockets so you can mix uh, You can uh, mix depending on what you want. You can actually have hard power going up at socket packs as well as dim channels. And also it means that if you have a problem, if one dimmer fails, you can actually swap to another dimmer, repatch it in the software and then put it over to that same connector so you can patch over the bad dimmer. It's uh, all very modular and versatile, and these racks all have 400 amp uh, cables just looping as individual cores from one to the other to actually spread the power about. So that's uh, just one rather cramped uh, version of unit uh, here for power distribution. Those units over there, that, uh, that canister of gas and that canister of water are part of a mister system that in the event of a fire, go, uh, it will automatically just basically flood this whole uh, room with uh, dense, a cloud, dense cloud of water vapour to suppress the fire, which isn't, it's not happened yet, we're not really looking forward to that incident because uh, it's not going to be so great for electrical stuff, but we'll see what happens if it ever happens.